Savage Land is a 2015 film that is a mockumentary horror movie. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm reviewing a movie from 2015, well, at patreon.com slash gayfetch, at the highest tier, you can pay me to review something of your choice. Once every three months at the highest tier, I will review something of your choice. So here we are. We have this one. And um, I watched it today and actually really like this movie. It's it set around an incident in an Arizona border town where, like, the entire town was murdered. It's really, like, the, the film's really more about, like, the social commentary on uh, scapegoating of uh, undocumented migrants. But it's also interesting to see how it's done because this movie came out in 2015 and I think it was filmed in 2014. Uh, so, like, this movie was made before, like, the Trump era, before the rhetoric around that stuff stuff really amped up so like watching it today i'm like seeing like some of the interviews with like locals in the movie obviously they're all actors but like the way that they're saying stuff that at the time would come across like cartoonishly racist and nowadays i look at it and i go oh wow they were actually pretty <laughs> actually had a pretty even hand in covering that stuff but basically the film's message is about how illegal immigrants are scapegoats for other problems and not just systemic racist policing, but also like kind of points out how when you shift the blame for who's causing a problem, you don't actually solve the problem. I really enjoyed it. Like it's a it's a pretty low budget film and it, it, it's mostly just set up like, you know, how like it, it set up like a documentary about like an actual event that would have happened around that time while there is like supernatural elements to it it's very much like the guy who is accused of doing all these murders well he had like he took pictures and he had like one roll of film that was developed that was all like very blurry and taken at night and you know people were like casting doubt on to whether these photos were legitimate or not and they were never admitted into evidence or anything but it shows basically like something was like possessing the townsfolk it's it's very vague on what exactly happened except that they just blamed an undocumented immigrant for it and uh because of that <laughs> they, they they don't solve the problem um i i, I thought it was really well handled uh, and like i said i i they they have several characters that are like in and around the town who are like they've got a character who's kind of like a, a Joe Arpaio type. If you don't remember who Joe Arpaio was, he was like uh, he was that sheriff in Arizona who was like doing chain gangs and stuff like that. They've also got a character who kind of is like he, he's your, your local uh, conservative talk uh, uh, show host, you know, radio uh, host. He's just kind of presented pretty like neutrally in the film, and it's just left to you to understand and interpret uh, where this rhetoric is coming from. And I, I don't know. I, th I thought this movie was really well handled for the subject matter that it is touching. Uh, honestly, I think if I were a conservative and I saw this film, I don't think I would feel like like they were talking down to me or, or insulting me or anything like that either. Um, but I I, th I think. You know, it it definitely has a strong message, and I, I I would I would recommend watching it. I I really liked this movie, and if you want to see me review more stuff like this, again, Patreon.com/slash/gayfesh at the highest tier. Uh, one of the rewards is every three months I will review something of your choosing, and this was Sai Deathful's choice this time around. So Sai, thank you for picking this one. I really enjoyed it. Hey, thanks for watching. Your view means a lot. Don't forget to toss me a like, and subscribe, and ring the bell. And drop a comment below telling me what you thought of the video. I stream Mondays and Fridays at 5pm Pacific, and Sundays at 2, so catch me live and join in on the convo. You can find all my socials in the description below, and thank you to all my patrons with a very special shout out to my Whale Shark tier patron Ryan D, and my Anemone friend tier patron Piftlecakes. Your support means the world. Catch you next time.